find the sum of all positive integers for which n square listen carefully sir very very good question it is find all the positive integers n for which n square minus 19 n plus 19 9 it is a perfect square again the question is on perfect square n square minus 19 n plus 19 19 9 it is a perfect square. How many terms are there on the left hand side? 1, 2, 3. Which term square? I will have 3 terms. A plus B whole square is A square plus 2AB plus B square. So what I will do is, since it is, I will multiply with 4. 4N square minus 76N plus 4 into 99 equivalent to 4A square. Are you all with me? So this will become 4n square minus 76n. 4 nines are 36. 36 plus 3, 396 equivalent to 4a square. Are you all with me? So this can be written as 2n minus 19 whole square 361 plus 35. 361 plus 35 is 396 equivalent to 2a whole square equivalent to 2a whole square. So this will become 2a whole square minus of 2n minus 19 whole square is equivalent to 35. So this can be written as 2a square minus b square 2a plus 2n minus 19 into 2a minus 2n minus 19 minus 2n plus 19 a square plus b square i hope the idea it is clear 35 can be written as 35 into 1 7 into 5 1 into 35 5 into 7 5 into 7 so if i take it as these as 35 and these as 1 adding 2n minus 2n cancel minus 19 plus 19 cancel 4a equivalent to 36 a equivalent to 9 a equivalent to 9 if i take this one 4a equivalent to 12 a equivalent to 3 so this if i solve it this i will get n square minus 19 n plus 19 9 equivalent to 9 n square minus 19 n plus 90 equivalent to 0 n equivalent to 10 comma 9 n equivalent to 10 comma 9 are you all with me very simple idea if i take n equivalent to 9 this will become 9 square 81 99 minus 81 it is 18 n square minus 19 n plus 18 equivalent to 0 so n equivalent to 1 comma 1 comma 18 1 comma 18 so n equivalent to 10 comma 9 n equivalent to 1 comma 18 L please check it out whether it is a perfect square or not 1 1 plus 19 9 it is 100 100 minus 19 81 it is a perfect square 100 minus 19 it is a perfect square let us check for n value 10 n value 10 10 square 10 square minus 190 plus 199 100 plus 99 199 minus 190 9 it is a perfect square n value 9 9 square 81 81 plus 99 which is 180 minus 171 n value 9 118 10 and 9 what is the question sum of all positive integers n 1 is a positive integer 18 is a positive integer 10 is a positive integer 9 is a positive integer answer is a 38 1 plus 18 plus 9 plus 10 
नाइनटीन प्लस नाइनटीन आंसर इज थर्टी एट आंसर इज थर्टी एट I hope the idea it is clear. Why I multiplied by four? If I multiply by four, I am able to generate this a minus b whole square. A square minus two ab plus b square. I hope the idea it is clear. If you do like this, you will get this answer. There is a better way where you will get the answer very fast. Let us see that better way. n square multiplying by 4 clear idea is i looked at the question there are three terms what is the square of a number which will have three terms a plus a minus b whole square a square minus 2ab plus b square so equivalent to 4a square it is 2 into 2n remaining is 19 19 square is 361 plus 35 idea clear so 1 18 10 and 9 Now let me show you the another approach. Question is n square minus nineteen n plus ninety two. It is a perfect square. N square minus nineteen n plus ninety two. It is a perfect square. So this will become n n minus nine whole square. Can I write like this? n square minus 18 n minus 18 n next is minus n minus n 81 81 81 how much is remaining minus 11 equal to n square am i right a square are you all with me suppose if you see here 10 and 10 and 9 and 1 and 18 10 and 9 and 1 and 18 so what we will do is suppose n minus 19 whole square n square minus 18 n minus 18 n plus 99 right okay plus 99 means this is 18 are you all with me so if it is n value if it is 18 This will become zero. Eighteen minus nine is nine square. Eighty one. A square is eighty one. A value will be perfect square. So n is eighteen possible. If I take n value nine, n value nine. 9 minus 9 zero square 9 minus 18 minus 9 minus into minus plus plus 9 a square is 9 a value 3 so these two cases are you all with me how am i doing it i hope the idea it is clear n value 9 n value 18 these two cases we got it now if i write it like this n minus 10 whole square n square minus 20 n that means plus n 100 minus 8 equal to a square n minus 10 whole square plus n minus 8 is whole square if i take n value 10 10 minus 10 is 0 square 10 minus 100 my it is 99 i wrote the heading as 92 that is the reason confusion this is 99 This is n minus one. N minus one equal to h square. So n equal to ten. Ten minus ten zero square. Perfect. Ten minus one nine. N equal to one. One minus one zero. One minus ten minus nine square. So how many values we got? Ten plus nine nineteen. Eighteen plus one nineteen. Answer is thirty eight. Very very good question. I hope the idea it is very very clear to you. Very interesting question, observational question. Either you can do this by using the traditional method, or you can optimize the question like this, right? I would suggest that go with this method because this will give you all the factors. Thirty-five into one, five into seven. There is no other way. Question is a positive integer. That is the reason we have not taken minus one into minus thirty-five and minus thirty-five into minus one. Very very good question. Right after the class, revise it as many times as possible.